General Math students, in this video we're going to calculate the rule for a geometric sequence based on information about two terms in the sequence. We've uh, done questions like this for arithmetic sequences. It's pretty similar but there is a, a slight difference in one of the steps. So let's go through and uh, have a look at how we do these ones. So part A. Now basically we're told two terms in the sequence. We don't know the first term, but we know that the second term is 20. We don't know third, fourth or fifth term, but we do know that the sixth term is 320. So just like the examples we did like this where we were finding the common difference based on the number of steps from one term to the next, or that, between the terms that are given, we need to determine how many common ratios from the second term to the sixth term. And of course it's four, right? Because six take two is four. Okay, so basically to get from the second term, we go one, two, three, four. We need to multiply by the common ratio four times. So R by R, by uh, four times. So that means that 20, if we were to multiply that by r four times, the common ratio, then that is going to give us 320. Now we can simplify this part here. r times itself four times is r to the power of 4. So 20 times r to the power of 4 will give 320. So now we need to solve for r. So we'll take that 20 over the other side and it will divide. So r to the power of 4 equals 320 divide 20. Now we need to take this power to the other side. What, it was, what happens to that power when it goes over the other side? Well, there's a couple of different ways to do it. We can say that uh, it, this uh, changes to a power of one quarter, or you can take the fourth root of those numbers. So to do this on the calculator, we could do this. 320 over 20, close the bracket and go to the power of one quarter, which gives two. Or we could uh, take a fourth root, which on this calculator is this button here, the fourth root of 320 over 20 which also gives two. So the common ratio in this case is two. Uh, now the first term, just logically counting back, um, it should be 10, all right, because 10 times two is gonna give 20 and so forth. Um, uh, but we may need to do this algebraically. So to do that, we're going to say, that we know that for n equals 2, the second term is uh, 20. We don't know that first term yet, but we know the common ratio. So we're putting the common ratio and our n value in. So this means 20 equals a by 2 to the power of 1. So rearranging, dividing both sides by that, a equals 20, divide by, so dividing both sides by that 2 that's multiplying by the a. So 20 over 2 gives 10, and there is that, that first term, that a value that we were after. So we need to do a substitution like this to get our first term, our a value. Okay, so the rule for the sequence then, we just write it out with those two numbers there, where we've got the a value is 10 and the common ratio is 2 the n take 1. So in part c, the 10th term of this sequence, t10, 
equals 10 by 2 to the 9 uh, to the 10 take 1 which will become 9 so that gives us 10 bracket 2 to the power of 10 take 1 uh, 5120 and there's part C okay so you might want to pause the video and try this one then I'll have a go at it very quickly okay so I'm just going to do this the quick way here okay part A uh, we've got the seventh term and the fourth term so that's three common uh, three common ratios right so that means that if we take 24 and multiply it by three common ratios, we get three. So R is equal to three over 24 to the power of one third, or the cube root of three over 24. So three over 24. The pair of one third is 0.5. So when n is equal to 4, our fourth term is 24. So 24 equals a by 0.5 to the 4 take 1. So that means a equals 24 divided by 0.5 to the power of 3, because 4 take 1 is 3. So let's do that one. And that gives us a first term of 192. So that means for part B, the sequence looks like this, or the sequence rule is that. Okay, just make that look a bit more like an N there. There we go. Okay, part C, the ninth term. T9 is 192 by 0.5 to the 9 take 1. Which gives us this. Point seven five. Okay, go ahead and check the description for the video and try some of these questions.